your big takeaway from the game? I mean, uh, what I want to say is good new old Italy. This is my title for the, for the day because we didn't play that much well, but we won three games in a row. It didn't happen that uh, we need to go back in, in the days, you know. And uh, this, this Italy team is starting very slow under the lights, mm. but uh, it's 25 games they don't lose a game. 20 wins and five draw. So there's a lot of record that is going to break in down in this with Mancini now that is very interesting what's, what's, what's happening. I mean, you're expecting to win against Lithuania. We never lose against Lithuania. So it's something that you're expecting to do it. We didn't play an amazing game, even if Chiro, especially, we missed a lot of op opportunities. But again, it's, it's weird time. We saw what happened to Germany. Spain yeah. won by two. France won by one only. So it's not easy win every game or don't lose every game. So it's, it's a good job. And it, as, as Alessandro says, Gav, it's, it's a good run now. Yeah, it's a good run. I think this was important. Uh, Roberto Mancini called up 38 players, uh, believe it or not, uh, for these three games um, for a bunch of different reasons. It's been so tight and everything. And he rotated very heavily uh, throughout those three games. So it's almost, it's almost difficult to kind of assess what Italy are now beyond the cumulative numbers because, because the players change, the performances change, but, but the run doesn't. It's five games in a row now that Italy have, have won uh, by two or more goals. And uh, amazing to me for a country that's won the World Cup four times, that is a new record. Wow. Uh, Alessandro, let's go back to Chiro Mobile. Of course, a number of chances to score in this game eventually scored uh, from the penalty spot. Can you trust him, do you think, in big, big matches to deliver for Italy? I mean, I, I trust Chiro is an amazing guy. He's very generous, he's running a lot, he's taking a lot of opportunities, like, like you say. You know, in order to be in front of the goalkeeper so many times, you mean, it means that you play very well and you, you are in the right spot. He's also a guy that can score three, four games, four goals in a game. Mm. So it's, it's very, can happen, honestly. So this time didn't happen. Thank God that he had this uh, penalty at the end. So he, can, he finished the game with a, with a little smile, but of course he's gonna be a little bit sad about how many opportunities he missed. It. How much can we trust him? How much can we trust with this Italy? This is the biggest question mark because mm. we change a lot, a lot of players, like I say, and, uh, and, and, but we are doing quite well. But all these great talents didn't have an, an amazing experience in the European or World Cup tournaments. So that is the biggest question mark. You know, they're doing really well in their team, but what happened in the national team when you're going to face the big guys, you know? And this is the question about that we need to solve. But we are so happy that we are going through this uh, Mancini era in this way. He's, he's doing an amazing job, and we need to say that. And uh, the team is, is going well. I mean, it happened only three other times that Italy won the first three games on a World Cup qualification in 1978, 1982, and 2000, and in 1998, sorry. So that is a long time ago. It's, yeah. This breaking record is good. You were playing it was that long ago. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but Alessandro, looking yeah. at it, <laughs> and, and you talk about the character and you question mark as to whether or not they can deliver at the highest level, there is no way of, of second guessing that, is there? You will only really find out at the time. Yeah, there's, there's no other choice, by the way. So it's, it's, uh, you, you, you find out in that time when you're going to face in the big pressure and how united you are, how character you have, how the team was built before. And all these answers till now are a nice way, yeah, a nice yes. But, you know, World Cup or Euro that is coming soon, it will define where we are. 
so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.